Alright everybody, welcome back. We are here in the Great Hall of Hogwarts. Today we're starting off some of the uh, companion quests. Um, we're within, th I believe, three missions of the end of the main story. So I want to get some more of these done. Well, once I finish the main campaign, I'll probably be done with this playthrough. So I want to get some more of these done. Um, let's see. So, right now, we're going to start off with Grief and Vengeance. Speak to Natty, see how she's doing since I helped her and Mr. Rabe escape the Ashfinder's hideout. And then head over to Surprise Meeting. we got to talk to Poppy. She's worried uh, She's worried about the Snidgets, which are the precursor to the Golden Snitch. And uh, rescue those from the Poachers. And we'll see what pops up after that point. Um, if nothing else pops up, I'll probably do one of these races. I think there's only one race left, really. It's probably more, but one for the mission, I believe. Yeah, that's what we're going to do in this part. Um, let's get right into it. We're already in the Great Hall, which is where Natty is, not Sayonai. Ah, I have been meaning to speak with you. Not Sayonai. One of my top three favorites so far. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors, and <laughs> news travels quickly. Well, that's not very good for me. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. Uh, her concern is warranted, let's be fair. I don't blame her for being concerned. We have been involved in some dangerous yeah, activities. Yeah, that's, that's, that's As the very Ash true. As were locking me up and threatening my life, it did occur to me that my mother may have been right. <laughs> has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. Harlow is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. Let's if go, someone let's had go do stopped it. the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savanna. Galloping? Your father was also an animagus, I take it. He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted, and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me, and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. I don't think there's any way you could have protected yourself. You seemed like to be a kid at that point, so... Um... Yeah, I don't think there's any way you could prevent that. And another point... That is an amazing animagus form. A giraffe? Don't get your... Don't you get... Uh, don't get it twisted about giraffes. Those are actually like... They fight off lions, my guy. They, they're they actually pretty tough. They stomp lions. So... Like, that's a pretty sick form. And she has a gazelle, I think. Well, I forgot. I think it was a gazelle or something like that. They have some good forms. Okay, let's go back to it. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was. Truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Why don't we get right to it? Thank Let's go again fight him for now. Saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. Can we just go fight him now? Like, I'd very much like to fight him. Harlow, Rookwood, Ranrock, all of them. Let's go fight them all. 
So nothing else has popped up for the time being. So the next one is go meet Poppy in the Forbidden Forest. Way up here. Go to the world map. Uh, that's the closest one. Jackdaw's Tomb. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Those those are some sick Animagus forms. I can't get over that. Freaking giraffe is majestic. I'd love to have something like that if that was... If, you, you think about stuff like, oh, if I was in that world, that you, what form would you want as an ad, Animagus? And you'd always think some predator, but some of these... Uh, some of these creatures are freaking sick. I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Okay, Poppy Sweeting. Oh yeah, we're talking to the centaurs. Is this I where forgot. we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. Uh, I mean, they won't like it, but they'll understand. Once we tell them about the Snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. Um, I, I think they are pretty known for being wise, so... I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That doesn't make That's me right. think it's true. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fun. Okay, they popped up, didn't they? What in the world? Oh, okay. That's some horseback archery right there. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you. Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur, and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help. Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <sighs> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? Could, could she have said that beforehand, like five minutes earlier? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. Don't I already have Moonstone? Isn't that a thing I have plenty of? Or is it a different Moonstone? I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a Moonstone. What do Moonstones have to do with Snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? Um, I mean, he was annoyingly cryptic, but isn't Moonstone common? Isn't Moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific Moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. 
Okay, I mean, I trust him. Centaurs know things. I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him. What with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave you mentioned. Okay, I'll, Would you I'll go to the... With me in the great hall? I have come upon a difficult time and I need a friend. Wait, what? Where's the mission to uh, go to the cave? I'm gonna wait. For, I'm gonna wait here for a second, see if it pops up. Um, no. Revelio. Is there anything? Oh, okay. Oh crap! I need to be level twenty-eight. I want to do that very badly. In the shadow of the relic. That's how we get it, Avada Kedavra. Yes. Yes. This is what I want. I have to talk to Ominous at the catacomb, but I need to be level 28. What am I at now? Ooh, 27 and a half. Wow, okay. So first off, let's go do Finding Focus, and we'll do some of these other missions uh, while we're here. So that I can try to finish this out. Speak with Natty in the Great Hall. Is there, is there anything popping up for this mission, though? Like, that's what I really want to know. Okay, I guess she's going to go back to the library. Going back to the Great Hall. Fast travel there. I don't know what she means. She's come across a hard time and she needs a friend. That's what she said, but... I left like three minutes ago at this point. <laughs> like, what's changed? Oh, gotta wait for her again. Okay, take a nap on the floor. Some days are more difficult than others. What does that mean? Nasi, is everything all right? <sighs> there are times when my father's absence drifts to the back of my mind. And I feel peace for a day or two. But this is not one of those times. I miss him. I miss running with him. I miss Mati Belliland. <laughs> He should still be here. And it's my fault that he isn't. No, he isn't. No, it is not. It's not your fault, Natty. There's nothing you could have done to prevent it. That is what my mother says. But he died protecting me. And I cannot help but feel guilty over that. I find myself relieving the moment more often than I would like. That's that survivor's I guilt. I would feel it's a real thing. Helpless if I could truly put an end to Hollow and the rest of Rookwood's miserable lot. Each day they remain free, they do more damage, leaving people like Archie Bickle to suffer the consequences. I agree, Natty. We'll get them. I've never seen someone so committed to a cause. Thank you. I believe we will get them. Beginning with Hollow. Once again, stop with these Thank conversation quests. Let's me. go get him. It I want to go fight helpful. him. Yeah. She has a really bad case of survivor's guilt. It's a real thing. It's very sad, but it's very common, too. Being in an accident like that, um, you can't help but feel responsible. So we're going to go over to... I don't want to do the trial until the next part. Um, I would like to get in the shadow of the relic, but I'm still pretty far away from... Level 28. Uh, let's go ahead and do this flying quest. Maybe something else here. Speak with Imelda Reyes. Where do I need to go to, though? Ooh, way down here. Um, oh, I thought there was one way down here. I think this is the closest. I thought there was one down here. I thought I saw a course down here. Or the start of one, because they have like a stage set up. It's really weird. Let's hop on my broom and fly on over. First off, beautiful coast. I noticed that when I came over here to uh, discover all the flu points. Beautiful coastline. Oh, missed it. Okay, let's let's not get distracted. Go ahead and do this. I need to do some missions so I can uh, 
The course looks rather Go get deserted. Avada Kedavra before I hope end of the game. All right. Hufflepuff, over here. Imelda Reyes. Hello again, Imelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. There's a lot I'm of uh, goblins around here, though. Year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually, thank yeah. you. <laughs> actually, I know being I nice. I be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. <laughs> anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. I'm ready for the challenge. Every race I've done so far, which is two, um, I've beat it on the first try. I really don't know if I will, but I'm gonna try to do we'll that again. We'll see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. <laughs> Get ready to lose, Hufflepuff. Let's do this. Ooh, that is a good time. <laughs> now that's more like this is going well. Ooh, this is This is actually very quick. Kind of difficult to control actually. What it is with my joystick right now, but it's Flying, if I do say so myself. It's not liking the turning very well. Ooh. As long as I get a couple bubbles each time, should be pretty good pace. That wasn't too difficult. Pretty good pace so far. I haven't even seen that ghost dummy, so... Ooh, let's not miss one. Okay, I'm doing pretty good. I had a rough start there. Ooh. Rough middle as well, I guess. Missed all of those, pretty much. Made it. What the heck happened? Oh, I ran out of boost. Oh, that was very bad. Excellent. That was very bad timing. I might have just blown my lead a little bit there. I think I pulled through. <laughs> oh, yeah, I beat it by 20 seconds. What am I saying? I wasn't even paying attention to the time. Okay, that was pretty good. Three in a row of first try. Thank God. I don't want to. I don't want to blow those. That was quite something. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My beat every record you set. not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. Okay, will you keep running the courses? Will you keep running these courses? I'll race them myself. <laughs> Don't want to get rusty. But I won't be dealing with time trials. You're welcome to run them too. Anyway, hope we find time to fly again soon. Yeah, I actually like her. Any plans to play for a Quidditch team? I take it you want to play for a team. But which one? And which position? I'm my father's girl. A chaser through and through. You'd know that if Black hadn't cancelled Quidditch this year. As for a team, it's the holy head harpies I've always dreamt of. I don't know where those when are based, I'm finished of, with school, based out of. I'll try out. If for some reason I don't get accepted, I don't know what I'll do. Herbology, perhaps? 
Because if that did happen, <laughs> you might as well pop me and call me a mandrake. I'd never stop screaming. I don't think it's that bad. It'd be probably be one of my preferred professions if I was ever in this world, like... It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here. Fifth year. <laughs> Not bad. For a Hufflepuff. Okay. You take so, care of yourself. What level did I hit from this? Oh, beat Imelda's I should time in all Weeks broom races. This okay. Best upgrade yet. Okay, return to Albi Weeks. I really need a level up out of this, please. Okay, there's a flu right there, South Hogsmeade. I really need a level up. That's all I need. I really want to go do the uh, other companion quest so I can get Avada Kedavra. I can't wait for that. That'd be so sick. Ah, the secret is do the hard work first. How's my favorite Albie test Weeks. flyer? There we go. Wait, I'm trying to talk to him, not buy something. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. There we go. Mr. Weeks, I set a new record at the South Course. Hello again, Mr. Weeks. I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic! Your broom performed well, then. The Perfect. best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully, incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course! Should have anticipated that. Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you. At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade. Okay, very exciting, Mr. Weeks, until then. I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. If there's no more races that I don't go and Couldn't do myself, done this without you. then there's no real point for the broom upgrades. I wish there was more races afterwards. So what level did I hit? <sighs> Good for not Mr. high Weeks. enough. Okay. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. Is this the three broomsticks? I need to go speak to Serona Ryan, so might as well go do this. Glad you came. Shall I have the courage to go into the forest? Well, there's Serona. Might as well do some of these in Hello, the meantime. Hello, Serona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Oh, Loco? no. Oh, this was very bad timed. I did, thank you. In fact, we're working together to try and rein in Ramrock. About Are that? You? Um... Hmm. I suspected you and he would get along. Perhaps best I don't know details of your plans. And I shall refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something? I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favor for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband, Aidan, was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. Okay. I'll try to go and see her when I can. Let's go and it do that right now. world to me and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Dot can tell you where he might have dropped it. Okay, let's go do that immediately. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. Okay, check on the map here. You look at the world map. Uh, ooh, I do have a flu right there. Perfect. Upper Hogsfield. There we go. Ah, Upper Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Sprottle? Oh, she's right here. Okay. Bardos nice. Beaumont should have returned Dorothy. by now. Had by dark wizards he was. Um, I'm going to go with the Miss Sprottle part. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear 
Serona, a gem, has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wigan World potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. I have a crap Since ton of those. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Bottle. Can I just give her oh, my supply? Thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk lumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. Can I just give you mine? Yeah, there we go. Believe it or not, I have some. I have some with me. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld potions. That works perfectly. So there we go. also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aiden died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aiden took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. Where the cavern is, is in cavern? the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Well, I already gave you your hawk clumps, so thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk clumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. No problem whatsoever. Okay, where is this cavern? Uh, let's just grab the broom. I was going to see if there's a flu, but I doubt there's one close enough. Ooh, there's Mr. enemies. Table. Should prove useful once the sun's down. Wait, why do I have the wrong spells on? Why do I have it set up like this? Oh, I'm on the wrong bar, that's why. Wait, no, that's not any better either. I was wondering why it was so weird. Here's a little bit done. Um, I kind of want to just keep fighting enemies for the time being. Uh, let's go up to the cavern. Why not? This must be the cavern Mrs. Brottle mentioned. Confringo! Expelliarmus! Accio! Levioso! No! Accio! Confringo! Expelliarmus! Is he gonna die from that fall? No one yeah, okay, that works. One of my own and some gold. Let's collect these flies that I don't need. Not and head into this cavern. Horklump Hollow. So I guess there's a bunch of them there. Why does it show the mine? The cave to find Serona's box of letters. Perhaps I'll better have a look around. See about the Horklumps and the box of letters. That's all the Horklumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Revelio. Go this way. Is there any uh, letters in here? Oh, I need uh, Lumos. Lumos. Those are all gear slots, so I don't think. Uh... What's right here? Is there anything? Don't think there's anything there, so. Rebellion. Expelliarmus. Confringo. That works. Okay. Is there going to be a fight here somewhere? Oh, there's definitely. Oh, okay. Either I'll have to fight that troll. Or avoid it all. 
course there's a troll here. Wait, really? I dodged out of the way of that, really? Go. That was a good combo right there. 84. I got up to 84 in that. Whew, that was uh, a little more stressful than I was expecting. Revelio. Where are these letters? Um. I'm truly awed by what we've accomplished. The final broom upgrade is better than even I expected. Stop by Spin Witches when you can. I will do that. Depulsa. Is this where the letters are? Because I really need those. Oh, there they are. I'm not gonna read her personal letters. This must be Sorona's box of letters. I should take this box of letters to Sorona. Oh, I there's think an exit right everything. there. Perfect. Return the letters to Sorona. I already gave the hork lumps to uh, Mrs. Sproddles, so I don't have to return there. Let's go straight to Hogsmead. There we go. South Hogsmeade. Let's see what I... I and I can purchase the next upgrade, uh, the final boom up, broom upgrade from uh, Albie Weeks. Finally get that done. I don't even know if we're going to be able to do the uh, sub, the final... I think it I'll is the it final uh, Sebastian Sallow mission, but I don't even think we'll be able to do it in this part. I don't think we're going to hit level Serona. 28. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk clumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. Happy to I'm help. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her, and for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. No problem. So what level am I at now? Come on. Still not high enough. I really don't know if we're going to be able to do it in this part. Uh, where is... is it... No, it's not this building. It's this building, right? Oh, that's Ollivander's. Where am I going here? An honest day's work. No, it is this one. Okay. No. Oh, hello again. Couldn't have perfected the broom upgrades without your help. Final broom. As always, Can I, even I have a special oh my God. prize for you. I can't even afford that thing. I'm just going to have to sell everything I have. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to sell everything that's not good enough. I 
I might be able to afford it when I sell everything. Ooh, that's better. Wait, 59 to 74. Yep, sell this one. Okay, it's 7,500, so I'm just going to sell all this unidentified stuff. One more. I just sell everything, except for that item. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. Wait, Hope to see you again. For over. I meant to switch over. Broom upgrade. I truly enjoyed working with you. Thank you for believing in me. No problem, sir. It's fun racing them, actually. So what other quests do we have available? I want to at least get to 28. If we only do this uh, in the next parts, maybe right at the start before we start the trial, I'd, I'd love to get it done. But what else do we have? Um, I think there's another mission there in the three broomsticks. Let's go check that out. Very Don't close to level 28. It. To go into the forest. Clementine Willardsley. Willardsy. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine Willardsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? you I guess I can find out. Butterflies. I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. I guess I can track them. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Okay, let's get right into it. Find the butterflies in the Don't forbidden forget, forest. The butterflies always seem to be on the fringe. There's no flu close enough, right? Or well, there might be. Oh yes, nice. And I might, I might do a trial of Merlin while I'm out there. I'm right next to one. I should be right next to one. So I can I can do a couple of these on camera so you can see what they're like. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented... Okay, find the butterflies and follow them. <laughs> there they are. She wasn't making it up. Oh, it's a dug bog. This far. Miss Willardsy might get an answer about these butterflies. Defender! Good bring them! Why not? I'll fight anything that's on the way. Where'd they go to? Oh, I'm I'm losing track of them very swiftly. There's deer in here too. Okay. Where the heck are y'all going to? What the heck is this? Well, well. Look what we have here. Really? Follow butterflies to a treasure. That's a thing? What does this say? Extreme danger. Okay, is there any more enemies around here? I need to, I really need to fight stuff. I mean, let's just return to Willardsy. That was a very interesting uh, <laughs> trip right there, I guess. I guess uh, the, all butterflies lead to treasure in this game? Because that is a very interesting feature if that's the case. I'm gonna... Oh, I forgot to do the Trial of Merlin while I was right there. Let's go turn this in and I'll go do a couple. That'd be a good way to finish this. It seems like we're going to have to do the uh, Avada Kedavra quest in the next part. I'll say it again. Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterfly. Hello, Miss Willardsy. Well, what happened? 
happened? Did you find them? Um, yes, and I was well, well rewarded. They led me into the forest and revealed the treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Oh, perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. I wouldn't recommend now, it. There's a lot I'm of poachers. I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see. Should I dare? Um, I wouldn't recommend it. Ooh, I'm very close. Okay, let me go back up to here to the Forbidden Forest there. I want to do one of these... Where did I go just a second ago? Yeah, this one. We'll do some of these around here just to finish off the episode because they give XP and they're pretty easy to do. There's a crap ton of them around the map as well. Okay. We got a very fast broom now, so... Holy crap, that's quick. Okay, there's a variation. Well, there's like seven different types. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. I grew a lot of mallow sweet in between one of my parts last time because I was tired of running out of them. This type, it's literally just destroy the... Uh... There's a bunch of types. There's repair stones. There's destroy stones. There's destroy the the um, spheres. You just have to find them all. Not so and that's it. That's all, literally man. it. And then it opens up. There's a there's one type where you have to uh, move this giant like metal shape or well, metal sphere into a pit in some location nearby. What else is there? There's a there's a parkour one where you have to run along stones, and they're they're pretty easy all the way across. So let's uh, to the next one with a bunch. Oh, right up here. Go to that one. We'll be able to hit level 28 off these, and I get to show what I've been doing a lot off camera. They're not hard, and you can you can do quite a few in it, like a, an hour's time. You can do like 15, 20 of these pretty easily. So, let's head over here, outside of the castle. I don't know what this one's going to be, but uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, these... I know what these are. So... You get some of these. You get uh, you get a, get these butterflies Lumos. or these whatever fireflies, and you just got to bring them to the stone. But you have to have Lumos. So here's another one. Bring it. Where's another stone at? Um. Where's there a stone at? Oh, up here. Okay. Keep looking around for butterflies. Oh, there's another one I have to bring them to. Revelio. Let me activate Re Revelio. Might reveal where they are. Are they <laughs> down here? Oh, they are down here. Okay. Lumos. As long as they'll stay nearby of where the light ended, so you can get close to the edge right there and cast Lumos again. Pretty easy. And bring it all the way up here. And that's it. There's three stones per, so. Oh, just just one or two more before I can hit level 28. So there's another one right over there. Let's get on the broom. I don't know what this one's going to be. It looks like it might be a, a metal ball one. Oh, it is. Yes, okay. This I actually very much like these ones. So you see this? We got to find a pit down here. We got to roll this ball into. Which would be... Don't see a pit anywhere. Oh. Let's uh, get on the broom. Let's find where this has to go to. Where the heck does this have to go to? Oh, it's down here. Okay, so th we have to get the metal ball into this by following the path. Oh, it's a nice funnel down here. Nice. So you just cast. 
Oh, crap. Oh, oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not what I wanted. Well, let's get on the broom and go, <laughs> go all the way back up again. Here, so all you do is put Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. And send it down the funnel. And it should follow you. I can't see behind me. It is slowly rolling. Okay. Give it some time here. And land right in the pit. There we go. That's all it is for these. Super easy. They're all super easy. And if you need, you can look up online. There's a couple more variations that I haven't mentioned that I might not see in this part, but they're all pretty easy. I didn't get any experience from that. What the heck? Confringo. Did I not? Well, I'm right on the edge of leveling up. Okay, I need probably one more trial of Merlin. And we'll call it quits for this part. Let's just go to this one. We'll go to that one, do the final one for this part, and call it quits for today. Let's see, it's right over here. These are a pretty quick way to get experience. I completely forgot about them. I would have been doing these the whole time. It's so easy to forget about these, though. So what are these ones? Oh, what is this? Oh, okay. I have not done this one before. Ooh, that's gonna take some damage. I have never seen this one. Revelio. I think I have to get these all up into this. I am not sure. I've never seen this one before. Let me see if I can get uh, a Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Is there a couple of these I have to do? Or is that it? Revelio. I saw some more more over here, so yep, there must be. Where is the pit at? Where is the pit I have to take it to? Where the heck am I taking this? I can never face Milo's daughter again. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. I'm just gonna take him with me for now. I don't know where these are going. Oh, I think I see it way over here. Let's not lose him off the edge. i this is the first one I've done of this type. I thought I'd done all the types, but I guess not. It's not that hard, though. Let's get these all over here. Is there two or three? Revelio. Must be a third one somewhere. Oh, there it is. What the heck is that thing? Oh, it's just a spider. Okay. And where is the pits? That's not it, so...
Oh, is that the last one down there? I think it is. Okay. Uh, Leviosa, where is... Indarium Leviosa. I think this is it over here. I don't believe I've used this one. There we go. This should be it. There we go. And I should have hit level 28. Really? Did I not hit level 28 off that for real? One more. <laughs> okay. It's taking a little longer than I thought. Where are you at? Right down here. What is this one going to be? Could it be a Merlin trial? It's always a trial of Merlin. Rebellion. Oh, it's the four stones. Okay. Lumos. Just gonna traverse down this way. It kind of worked. What other stones Rebellion. do we have? They, oh, they're all down here. I've never heard such rubbish in all my life. Does that make more sense than a moon cart done? Expelliarmus, good for you. Defender, bombarder. I guess that kind of works. Lumos. Get you over here. Confringo. There we go. And there's a dude down here, so. There we go. Nice. Where is the last the of these flies? Oh, right here. Lumos. Nice. Climb up. This should be it right here. Oh my god, please hit. <laughs> please hit 28. This is taking so much longer than I thought. Okay, maybe maybe one more. Maybe 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 one maybe one more. Did I really not hit it? right on the edge this should please be it i already know what this one is because i saw the giant metal ball up top i don't know where the pit was at but i know there's a giant ball up there so Revelio. so you are the ball where's the pits oh right there okay wingardium leviosa Sometimes you gotta back away from them so it, it'll actually go anywhere. There we go, level 28. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, I. This is a little longer part today, but. I figured I'd show you guys at this point. I want to hit level 28 for the next part and get Avada Kedavra. But I figured I'd show you uh, what I do a lot between parts when I'm trying to progress and unlock spells. It's a lot of this stuff. Trials of Mer or Merlin trials and whatnot. But I think this is where we're going to call it quits. For, although I know it, this is where we're going to call it quits for today. Let's see here. Merlin Trials. I need three more for the next gear upgrade. I'm not going to do them tonight, but I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave any feedback down below, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.